This is Taylor, everybody. Welcome her. Hello, everybody. Taylor, uh, I'm going to hit you up, but um, you got to ask you for your top five movies. Off the oh. top, off the top, just off the top at this very, uh, the 90s period. No, actually, that would be unfair because you were in 1996. The noughties. Oh, that's no. the 2000, 2010. What are your top five okay. movies and why? Oh, no. Okay, well... Forgive me if I don't know what year it came out. I'm just like going back to a certain age and picking my top. Yeah. Can I do in no particular order? Yeah, no particular order. Yeah, I'm a bit yeah. of a movie. That's Spring right. it on you is pretty hard yeah. in itself. So yeah, it will find reasons okay. why. If I had to, okay. All right, just go with uh, 8 Mile with Eminem because the first music rap movie is the coolest thing I've ever seen. Also How old were you watch that? <sighs> Such a you good question. You wouldn't have been so age. good. Is it R T or is it a... Unsure. No, no, yeah, okay. <laughs> we won't go there. But what was it about Eight Mile that took your attention? Like, I think it was the music. The music of the rapping and the rap battles. I just thought that was cool. Yeah. Obviously, it's written, but when you're watching it, you just feel like it's happening in like, real time. Like watching these famous people just like at each other. And it was just like rooting for the underdog, which is obviously my name. Uh, right. And yeah, I used to watch it back to I knew all of the rap. It's not good, but it's it was a, good. It's a rags to riches, yeah, uh, which is uh, just a proven formula for good movies, I think. Um, next one. Okay, on the uh, Cinderella story with... Um, is, is she a... That's not Cinderella Man. Cinderella Man's a boxing one. Yeah, that's with different. with Russell Crowe. Yes. Uh, <laughs> it's a little uh, bit different. different. Uh, so tell us a little bit about the story there, because I'm not fan. Some of our viewers might not. Uh, the fairy tale Cinderella. But she's like... You know, a teenager, and she like goes to school, and then she like runs this diner, and she's like in love with the cool guy, but know who she is. So they like text each other. It's like a club, is what it is. Mm. You know. So we've got man, we've got extremes here. We've I got um, Eight Mile, and then we've got Cinderella. Cinderella story. What? story. Cinderella story. Yeah. This. Oh, now I feel like I'm just drawing a blank. Oh, oh, see, this is now where I'm getting into. Girl era, but it was she's the man. Did you ever watch that? Uh can confirm. <laughs> yeah, I have watched it. Actually, I I, I, I I can't even like to watch it. <laughs> I um think I read the back of or I I read the synopsis somewhere and I thought, hey, I'll give it happens. That's good. Like it's it's probably like it's the funny one of the funniest movies I've ever. Watched. And like Channing Tatum is in it, and that and Amanda Bynes like prime. They're That's like you right. know teen teen idols at the time. That's Definitely right. in my top five. Did you but ever go to that extreme, gentlemen? I mean, I love Brilliant. my husband. So oh yeah, well, I might. It's just <laughs> <laughs> if it's what I had to. Do. Yeah, no, that's it's a bit extreme, but um, yeah, no, that's that's a good one. she she becomes uh, a male soccer leaves it ambiguous around her. Yeah, and she's doing it because she not for anybody. Oh, not for she just falls in love with oh. while she's there, but she's doing it for the girl. Oh, okay, you know? so she's doing so it for the like soccer a, fest. Yeah, he's just like a an add-on. Is that like the bend it like Beckham story? I've never seen it. Oh, okay. Maybe we'll come back to that one (laughs) once you've seen it. Do some homework. Number four. Um, Did you ever watch... um, I feel like this is the... Honda? Did you watch that? No, I have not seen that. That's a good movie. From 2010? Surely. Monster-in-law. I don't know, man. It could have been after, but I feel like it's right in that pocket. I'm not not a big J-Lo fan. You know what? I am. I was. He was. Yeah, yeah. And when did it stop? When she was a fly girl, I thought, man, <laughs> that street streak, you know, like yeah. that, that moxie, that sass, <laughs> and then, uh, and then she got a bit too polished, eh, for my life. So, yeah, I was like, man, it's good on her, but yeah, yeah hard to hard to follow. About this new, uh, it's like a really long movie video. Yeah, my, I my, try. One, I try uh, to watch it. Yeah, I know. Eh? It's some, uh, what's it called? It's me or something? Yeah. Something? Yep. Yeah. Funny how I know the title, but don't follow <laughs> Jayla. Like don't like Jayla, but he knows the title. <laughs> Jerome, we gave it five minutes, and then it was like, ah, oh, this isn't very good, is it? Is she married? Is uh, the mother-in-law? She's the mother-in-law, yeah. And mm-hmm. they don't like each other because her and her, her and her son fell in love with no one's good. Mm. Uh, and so they do like sabotage to each other, and they're like, but they're like racial undertone. <laughs> I don't know. Now. Yeah, don't know now. <laughs> oh, no, I know. It's only been like fourteen years that, that decade, but. Man, there's a lot that I with back then too. Yeah. Um, just looking back at um, yeah, some of the things that I've seen recently back from Yeah, movies are different. To change. Last one, last one, Taylor. Um gonna stick my girl thing. Um Prada. Did you ever watch that? Uh, I think I did. That's with uh, Meryl Streep and I just watched it again the other day. 
And it, was just, it still hits. It's still a good movie. Right. Like Blunt's in there too. And really she was like, no, she is. Oh, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, so it was cool. Like, looking again and being like, oh, that person's super famous now. What was it about the story you liked? Uh, I think it was just the way she, like, came into her own in the end. Because, yeah. like, obviously she's changes in the middle, I think, for me. Uh, and then she, like, comes, she's like, nah, stuff you. But, like, I've changed and she grows. Yeah. But it's just a funny movie. Man, so top, top, no, I won't say five, all five favorite movie K 2000 to 2010 starts with uh, eight, uh, eight Mile. Uh, the second is Cinderella Story. The next one, uh, and these are in no particular order, uh, is She's All That, and then Monster in Law, and The Devil Wears Prada. Anything you want to say? Just Look. shortly for everyone so that they get a bit of an insight. I've grown, okay? You've grown? <laughs> and I watch more different types of movies now, okay? Like, an action. That movie's Yeah, I watch grown-up movies <laughs> as well. Okay. Not so much the horrors, but everything else I watch. So awesome. I just and if people want to follow yeah. you, because I know you, you're quite, an, quite a influential person. Ooh. I wouldn't say, <laughs> yeah, you're more of I am, but if people want to follow and because I know you make some awesome content. You can follow me on Instagram at Tay May, I'm pretty sure, maybe an underscore on the end there, uh, or on TikTok. I've been on there a little bit lately, but we'll see how that goes. And that's just Tay May as well. Yeah, check it out. Thanks, Taylor, for joining us. You'll see Taylor around uh, the street asking questions, um, poking, prodding, putting people under the pump uh, as we sit down and listen to stories from uh, different backgrounds, different people um, here on the Big Press podcast. <laughs>